Hi, Thomas Brinsko here with BIC Magazine and BICMagazine.com with our weekly vlog uh, discussing the top news of the week. As determined by you, our uh, readers at BICMagazine.com. The most trafficked item on our website this week was a, a press release from Exxon about some of their growth plans. Obviously, a lot of people are tracking a uh, bell cow in the industry like that. They uh, released a plan that really talked about how they were going to double their earnings over the next uh, seven or eight years uh, for 2025. And a big chunk of it included uh, the uh, chemicals business and their Permian uh, upstream business as well. So uh, a lot of uh, Gulf Coast work in there and uh, you might want to go check that article out for details down the road. Also trending heavily this week was Enterprise and some ethylene pipelines that they are going to be building in South Texas. Uh, obviously we've got a lot of uh, cat crackers that are being constructed and ethylene uh, derivative plants uh, in the Gulf Coast, so adding more capacity to uh, bring uh, <clears throat> ethylene in the area. Uh, the end point is uh, Bayport, Texas, and down in Harris County, not too far away from Houston. Uh, a lot of people interested in that and uh, it makes a lot of sense reflective of uh, the business today. The third item on our uh, traffic that uh, really trended well was Total uh, Petrochemicals. Uh, in particular, this was a uh, article about a startup of a new refinery that's going to be using palm oil to make diesel, biodiesel fuel. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of competing interests. Environmentalists are concerned about uh, deforestation and uh, the vegetable farmers who might otherwise uh, produce the feedstock for biodiesel uh, had uh, successfully gotten this project delayed a few times, but that's going to be kicking off soon. And uh, so congratulations to Total on that. Uh, uh, lastly, um, I've mentioned this once or twice, this will be the last time I mention it, but we're going to be having a uh, procurement forum in June and you can see the details here. But uh, <clears throat> it's going to be free for our BIC Alliance members and we'd love to see a lot of our uh, readers and, uh, at our event. Uh, we've got Tony with uh, Enterprise will be there, Tony Chauvinac, excuse me, and uh, we've got a great panel of EPC contractors talking about how they uh, let out work to subcontractors as well. So look forward to seeing you. Stay tuned to BicMagazine.com for the freshest news every day. God bless.